Fulio had it hard coming out of the north side of Jacksonville from being locked up all throughout his life, and he's even lost over 15 people to gun violence. Plus, he has even been shot himself, proving that the war in Jacksonville is serious and might not be nowhere close to ending. This is Top Trend TV, and this is the criminal history and biography of Fulio. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe because we post content like this on the regular. Nigga know. Nigga know who we at. Nigga hanging out too good, man. Let's see. That first you with me. You crazy. Maniac beats. I did not see no motherfucking cold giant. There. Yeah. When I put that baby cremated ass, we whoop their ass out. I run that gym, bro. That cremated ass. Got this baby on my neck, man. Niggas trip. Big bees, nigga. For big I don't even know game no more. I bang big. Who that nigga crying about in the song every day? Oh my lord. Why you had to take you 16? Nigga be crying every day. I was 16. He had one dream. Nigga had a dream to die. Nigga, what you talking about, nigga? We gonna speak on too much because the feds watching. watching. Developing now, a father and son have been arrested in connection with a deadly shooting at an Arlington shopping center. 21-year-old Hakeem Robinson and his father, 49-year-old Abdul Robinson, are both in the Duval County Jail. Hakeem Robinson is charged with second-degree murder and Abdul is charged with accessory after the fact. Investigators believe the two are involved in the shooting death of a man at a shopping center on Merrill Road back in January. That led to a police chase and manhunt in a nearby neighborhood. In January, surveillance video captured two men running through a backyard, jumping a fence during a police chase following a deadly shooting at a shopping center on Merrill Road. Charles Jones, a.k.a. Fulio, was born on June 21st, 1998. Fulio grew up on the north side of Jacksonville at a place called Hilltop Village Apartments, and they call this 45th, which crime, violence, and drugs was very prominent in this area around the time that Fulio was growing up. This is one of the hardest places like, to live in Jacksonville, the north side, like a whole lot of shooters. So prominent that at the age of 11, Fulio had already witnessed his best friend's mother get shot, and this event really changed Fulio for good. But his mother moved to the west side at the age of 12, and Fulio says the north side was a little bit better, but it still had a lot of violence around him, and he started to carry guns around his age. Fulio's father was also killed around this time, May 12, 2011. At around 2 a.m., 38-year-old Charles Jones and 49-year-old Don Neely got into a heated argument in Charles' living room. After the argument, Don Neely went to get a gun and shot Charles Jones in the head and was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Two days later, dying from his injuries. 49-year-old Don Neely was charged for the murder of Fulio's father, and Fulio says he doesn't hold any grudges against this guy. Him and his father wasn't the closest, but he still was pretty close to him. And only at the age of 15, he would almost lose his life because on December 10th, 2014, because one of his ops, only 16 years of age, Devon Crowden, got killed waiting for the bus. 6.30 a.m., Crowden's body was found laying in the road near a bus stop. A family friend told news that Crowden's mother had dropped him off at the bus stop so he could catch the bus to school. And a short time later, officers responded to a report of gunfire. And upon arrival, they found Crowden's body with multiple gunshot wounds. Neighbors say, they heard as many as 15 gunshots, and more than a dozen shell casing markers could be seen at the scene. But after Fulio heard about Crowder's death later that morning, he went to Facebook to diss him, making his ops believe he had something to do with the murder. And later that day getting off the bus, Fulio was shot in his hip. He ended up with multiple fractures in his hip and couldn't walk for months. And after this event happened, he says he dropped out of high school and fully committed to the streets. And around this time, he was getting locked up for a lot of petty crimes, going in and out of juvenile hall. But in 2015, he would lose his close guard brother to gun violence. And he didn't lose this guy to his ops, he lost this guy to the police. 
16-year-old Kondre Austin was running from the police in a stolen car when he was shot and killed. Police said Austin and a passenger got out with a gun in their hands, but the passenger dropped his and ran in one direction. Officers said Austin kept his gun and ran in the other direction. Sergeant J.C. Mobles fired twice while he was running after Austin, then twice more when Austin crouched down and turned in his direction. Austin was taken to UF Health Jacksonville where he died. But on May 30th, 2017, the beef between ATK and Fulio would get even serious because Fulio's 18-year-old cousin was shot and killed inside his home. His name was Zion Brown. Brown and four others, all 18 and younger, were sleeping at home when they were awakened by a loud noise. He threw a brick into our sliding door. That's what woke me up, Brown said. Brown then said everybody quickly dropped to the ground. Zion Brown, 18, died at the hospital. Stanteria Brown said Zion was begging God to not let him die. The guy arrested for this murder was DeAndre Thomas, an associate of ATK. This murder made tensions between ATK and Fulio even higher. And close to this time too, he would get arrested for his first real charge at 17 when him and his friends got caught with loaded pistols, flashing them in a movie theater the parking lot. He says they were being young and dumb. So happened, the police pulled up behind them, catching them in the parking lot, beating them up and arresting them. He was only arrested for about a month and then released. But then something would happen that would shock the whole Jacksonville because the rapid young and ace he was beefing with was shot eight times, leaving his brother and two friends deceased. On Tuesday, June 5th, 2018, at 10.45 p.m., a vehicle occupied by four people was traveling east on Towson Parkway, approaching the intersection of I-295. A suspect vehicle pulled up next to the vehicle occupied by four people, which Young and Ace was one of the four occupants. And the unknown suspects fired multiple rounds into the victim's vehicle. Three of the four victims died from gunshot wounds, which was Trayvon Bullitt, 18 years of age, Royal D. Vaughn Smith Jr., 18 years of age, the Kobe Deshaun Groover, 19 years of age, and the rapper Young and Ace was left in critical condition, lucky to be alive. Then, not even a year later, Fulio would lose another close friend of gun violence, and his name was Adrian Gaynor Jr., aka Bibby. He was shot dead on February 25, 2019 at Hilltop Village Apartments. Plus, police found 45 shell casings in the complex. Then, less than a year later, a guy of the name of Hakim Robinson, aka k -Su, was charged with killing 16-year-old Adrian Gaynor Jr. at Hilltop Village Apartments. The warrant indicates that Gaynor and another person was targeted by Robinson and another unaccused suspect. According to the warrant, Gaynor began running when he saw the two men coming, but was shot in front of witnesses. Robinson, aka k -Su, basically got arrested for making fun of Bibby's death, but as of the day, their beef is still ongoing. And that's because Young and Ace just dropped a diss song on March 28th, 2021. And this song is called Who I Smoke. And the crazy part is they did it to the 1000 Miles beat by Vanessa Carlton. Plus they was on a golf course having fun. But Fulio knowing the song was already ready to come out had already dropped his diss song a month before them. And that song is called When I See You and he remixed it on the Fantasia beat, dissing the three people that was with Young and Ace that night. But as of today, no one else has been slayed in this war in Jacksonville, and Fulio has been staying out of trouble too. He is not known to have any kids, and his relationship status is unknown. But that'll be about it for Fulio. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments who y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.